Now come closer. Take it. Take it. Now, all of you can see. If I'm standing, you cannot see, so you can. Just hold your hands like that. Now, what did I teach you just now in Atomoka Shwanasan? How to entwine the skin? Now I'm showing. This is how she is doing. Can you see it? Now, I can't show to all. Now, you can see. This is how you go down. Right? You interlock your fingers, you go down. Now, when I am going down, what did I say? Now, Dhamukashwanasan? Entwine. When I am going, did I entwine or not? You can see my stand up if you can't see and you can look it. Can you see the life? You are all like that. And you go like that. Can you see now? So touching the floor, you have to do Adhomakashwanasan action. You saw it or no? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm five, five feet man. So this is one foot. How can I show 800 people? <laughs> Huh? It's this entwining here that takes place. Okay. <laughs> now, you all keep like that. No, no. You all do Shishasan just like that. Right? Now, I am doing the Shishasan in Tadasan. I am in Tadasan. I do Shirshasan action. What happened? Now see, you do like that. I entwine. Now you could see? Yes. Whereas on the floor, they, I can entwine more because there is a support. Here is Niralamba. So, you got, so even if I do, I do. Because I know the action. Now you can see my elbow head. I'll show you all. This is your elbow head in Shishasan. Head is not in the center. I end, what you do, you move this way, you move that way, right? Yes. I don't move. Now you can see. It's not projecting. Now I project my elbow. Did I change the position or change the muscle, movement of the skin and muscles? This is how you do. See the tip. The head of the elbow. So sometimes it's out in, you move like that, you move like that. It's a gross mistake you have to move. But when there is no mistake in the elbow, now the elbow is parallel to each other, but slightly it is outside. Now I entwine my skin of the triceps, biceps, forearm together. Is it doing Tadasan, head of the elbow? Yes. yes. This is how you do it. I'll show all the four so you don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> this is Shishasan, your hand. So I bring life by charging my skin, not the flesh. You use the flesh. I don't use the flesh, I charge the skin. Can you see the elbow pointing? And when you keep the head burr, that pointing is is the intelligence. See. <laughs> this is your elbow, Shishasan. It's a dead arm. So naturally, like a top. You know how you play the top? I play the top on my skin. So I will do a little slowly, you can watch. Thank you. Now try. Come on, all of you, get back to your places. Wait, wait, wait. Let them go. Yes.
those who can do good shirshasana, they also cannot explain to you why I got good shirshasana. <laughs> Follow? As I told you, just time, as I told you in Adhomukha Shwanasana. Stand the, up all of you, stand up. I, in Prasara, the, the brain of the foot. I have shown the bone which is the brain of the foot. You remember or not? Yes. Eh? yes. For Shirishasana, the brain of the forearm is at this point. You just move the hand on your forearm. Which part of the bone is slightly bulging out? You can find out? Yes. And that is the seat, the brain for the forearm to be stable. That means that bone should be pressing the floor so that that bone goes in due to pressure. Yes. See, when you touch your hand, you just move, this part of the bone is slightly bulging out. So when you press on the floor, you have to press that bone so that this and this gets level. Because you do, this bone is out, so this comes out. So your mind is to press this bone, as I said, the second toe, mound in Prasadita Padatasana, should be pressed. So you have to press this bone so that the bone from here to here gets the touch of the floor. It doesn't get touch the floor because it's bulging. So in Shirshasana, you have to use this for the bone to go towards the top. Then the, the stability will come. As long as you play here, you play here. You cannot learn the asana. So you have, this is the brain of the forearm. And this is the brain of the upper arm. When you do Shirshasana, you have to create space from the head of the biceps to the deltoid. At least one finger should move. But when you do Shirshasana, I've done Shirshasana. Mm -hmm. How can I show you? Come here. Come here. Take this. Interlock your fingers. I'll come on four sides. Now, if you do Shirshasana, you can see this is the head of the biceps, this is the deltoid. What I do, I create space. See, that is short, this is long. You struggle. So this becomes a brain of the upper arm in Shirshasana. Each asana has a brain in the body. I can't explain all those things in one day as I told you. Huh? The Dharma Mega Yoga, the cloud is too thick. But it is not even drop, what I'm explaining. Now, when you do it, when you, this is a bone. Suppose you uh, take the bone in, space comes here. That is the connection. This has the connection here, it has the connection there. So you have to think of these two points. The more space you, you dig in, it comes up. Can you see now? You followed here also? Huh? You f followed? Is it necessary to show? Yes. No. Don't be selfish. Now do Shishasan. Only once I will show you. We all have to catch, otherwise no. But any time you do. All of you can see, he is a Shishasan. Hey, Nita, just move away. Yes. Move away because of the camera. Now, all of you can see, if I am touching Sorry. this side, I touch the brain of the forearm. How the movements come, you can observe. When I press, the shoulders goes up, the deltoids goes up, the biceps opens. Yeah. Eh? Now you can see. You saw the extension? That side there is no extension. You can compare. That shoulder blade is down. This deltoid is up. Follow? Now, similarly, you can see the space from the wrist to the shoulder. Because I mean, not repeating, I'm adding. I showed them, here I say, what's the space? This is the forearm bone. Not the brain is not on there, there I keep the toe. The brain is at the bottom. So from my top, I'm controlling the root of the forearm in Shishasana.
Did you see? Yes. Now, as long as I am controlling that forearm, he will be steady. You can see, this leg has life. That leg has no life. Now, I touch more, see how the leg functions. They come closer and closer. Skin. You can see the skin has not come close. Now, again, I touch. Now, you can see how the life webs here, in the, even in the lower leg. The distance is too far from his forearm to the shin. I touch, say how the intelligence flows there. You saw that? Yes. And if I am a John, then I say, hey, it went up. Let me use this as an initiative. I take the initiative from there. Let me stretch a little more than what it did. He does not know. What I do, I move the skin down, the leg goes up. Went up or not? So that is paramana paramatvanta vishikaraha. You have to subjugate the, even the atom of the atom when you are doing the asana. That is the effect of asana according to Patanjali. Not sthirasukam asanam which people talk to you. Sorry to say that because it pains me to hear that top class yogis say that but they do not know the connection of Patanjali's where he says you have to subjugate your cellular system. Because cells are the atoms. And he connects in the first chapter, he speaks on the first chapter, asana he speaks on the second chapter, and in the third chapter he speaks the effect of the asana, nobody knows. Only you know tatodvando anabhigataha. What is the effect of asana? But rupa lavanya balavajya sammanatvani kaya sampathe. How many people know that? So nobody collects the information of what Patanjali has thrown to us. So they say, oh, if you are, you have renounced the world. When he did Shirshasana, he has renounced the world the way in which I taught. Because his mind cannot think of, the, of any other subject or object. Except the sense of existence. So that is, that is renunciation. Not sitting in a lonely place. Huh? And then say, I will renounce. <laughs> Come on. And now try all of you. Even in, want to, in a simple sentence, when you do Shirshasana, your mind gets attached to a certain part due to fear. You release that part, the fear goes. That is Vairagya. That is renunciation. You are afraid to do Shishasana, you hold somewhere. Right? So that is attachment. Let me release it. That's renunciation. And now try all of you. Come on, all of you. Interlock. And, and exactly the These three are doing, you need not do, yes. you see. Yes, sir. Now exactly that bulging bone in your, the bulging region in your forearm, you remember Guruji showed it to us. So press see. that Let down, which will help you keep your wrist perpendicular to the floor. Also observe, no, don't go down mechanically because you remember how he showed us the entwining of the skin. All of you. So entwine the skin in a manner so that the elbows remain centered. And once you start getting that, that's when soft, you will take the crown of the head down. That, that is soft. So do until not take the head down until the elbows are on the sides. The center, the center of the elbow, that's what Guruji had said. Keep it centered. So entwine the skin in this manner, all of you. And then keep your head on the floor. Now slowly all of you will walk in. And now as you lift up, you remember the biceps Guruji showed on John. So continue to press the forearm so that it helps you lift the bicep, create more space in the biceps region as you take your legs up. Press here. Actually, if you notice, still some of you, that bone where you are pressing, you've lost that connection. See that you continue to press, especially as you take your legs. Yes, and now once the legs are up, all of you, observe. Because most of you, again, the elbows are going to the side, the elbow, the center bone. See that you, again, keep it centered. You may not be able to do it right now. Forearm 
As you play like a top. Also the leg skin. Roll in. Roll in. Titan. Roll yeah. in and twine the similar manner yeah. as we did with the like arms. Keep on entwining there. So the knees remain parallel like looking front, uh, facing the front. Neck loose. Now, even it, with the feet, remember how the uh, legs remain extended, but you had to, uh, John had to bring the frontal leg skin slightly down to get that lift. See if you can maintain and, I mean, get that skin down to maintain the lift or actually get a better lift now. Rest on it. We now see the difference. Still hard. Now you remember the toes, some of you all uh, try to keep the left toe, outer left toe moving closer to the outer right. Just now, I, just now I quoted Patanjali, Rupa Lavanya Balavajya Sammanatva, that means, Samhita means compactness, bring both the legs to be compact with each other, make it a single leg, to make it a single leg from the pelvic girdle, revolve the skin towards the inner leg. And then brush the skin to touch the bone, thigh skin. Tadasana heel, broad, center. Even in Prasarada Padasana, I said, Adhobhaka Shwanasana, I said, middle of the sole, middle of the heel should be above the rest of the foot. Louise, you are not doing, you are doing the old pose. No, no, get the you are not adjusting what I said. And the middle of the heel, all of you, do not take the toes. The, high, energy of the energy of the foot should be from the heel to the sole, not from the sole to the heel. For you it is sole to the heel, heel to the sole, the other way around, yes. Think there as a separate entity, foot. Measure from the arch. Half the energy should move to the heel, half the energy to the soul. Center of the brain is the center of the arch in Shishasana. To measure whether your leg is straight or not. If the legs go back, the length of the arch differs. Center of the arch. Take the in, extend the inner leg, not the outer leg. From the goings. Up to the ankle, connect all the fibers to reach the ankle without losing the sensation between the heel and the sole from the arch. Lock the, the patella and take the very difficult to take the top patella to test the bone. You touch the patella by bringing the foot forward, which is not right. Let the heel move, energy, to the soul. In Shirshasana, the front leg flesh and skin moves down and back leg skin moves up. You are all extending the front leg skin. Don't touch the leg of the skin of the front leg. Only think of the back, skin of the back leg. Lengthen the skin of the back leg. Like you iron your cloth. Before ironing the cloth, you stretch the cloth. Similarly, you stretch the cloth of the flesh, the skin. What is wrong? Huh? Just a little dizzy. The moment you lose like, the compactness of your thighs, it went like. when the th skin starts separating, that's when you start swaying. So see that you re-establish that compactness in order to stay. Every time you lose it, you will see that the legs start swaying. You know the beauty of your action, what, what the nature teaches you, which you do not imprint in your body. Watch yourselves. Does the ankle come close to each other or not? When you are stretching, do they come close or not? Close. Yes. When it comes close, have you ever thought of that? When, I, when the ankles come close, how is that my hips do not come close to each other? Ankles teaches you, but you don't use it. Compactness of the hips, 
The movement is quite different. She shows unbalance is quite different. That means the skin should massage the bone in Shirishasan. Skin of the hip, hip should be massaging, auto massage we call it. It should be massaging the flesh and the bone. That is mental press. Understood now? That's not a physical press, but a mental press. And now they can come down. They are done well. All of you will come down. Not bad. Ask them whether, they did, whether there was a change or not. Was there any change in your Sushyasan? Yes. <laughs> and now, just one minute, I will make you to do Sushyasan. Do you know how to know that you are doing right Sushyasan or not? Yes? Be honest. No. no. If I give, it may take little time for you. Somebody, any teacher can do this Shirshasan. One, one teacher and half. All can see. This way? What is Ask the cameraman, I don't know. Oh, which? No, face the camera. Okay. Because I can't, you, you have to catch, because concentrated action, I cannot go on distributing. Follow me? Go. Somebody be close to her. Go fast. I want Shirshasan. I, do, I am here not to see how gracefully you go up, how, huh? <laughs> see how they want to waste their timings, huh? I said, do Shishasan, I want to correct what try Shishasan is. <laughs> now, the foot is not in line. Hmm. If the foot is like this, the strain is on the eye. The breathing is heavy. The throat says something wrong. So you have to draw the line. This is the armpit. This is the armpit. This is the middle of the trunk. This is the middle of the trunk. So you have to measure from the middle of the trunk, middle of the hip, middle of the knee, middle of the ankle. Adjust, let me see. Now you came better or not? Yes, so, Shirshasana is not on the front or the back body. Shirshasana and Sarvangasana are on the sides of the body. Not at all from the, Everybody say, poke your health shoulder blades in. Open your chest, right? So, they, these two asanas are only, for, even back bends are from the sides, not at all from the front. Even this, we do not know we are practicing. So this is the center body. So from the mind you have to adjust, where are my cellular system, where is my bone, where is my flesh. Now, this she has brought. How to know, I said, how to know the Shishasana is right or wrong? Take her cloth a little more from the ears. Don't touch her. Show the ears. What's the... I will show the horizontal arrows later. These two piles can do easily. These two sides can do see easily. Watch the lobe of the ear. The bottom is forward, top, backward. So is it right, Shishasan? No. Now, I will not, what do they, the teacher say? Adjust your head. I will never say, I don't adjust your head. I will only say, take the bottom tip of the nose, blow backwards. There is a fear complex. Again, it goes. Bring it back. Forearm firm, bring it back. Now, is it parallel or not? Huh? Alma. She says, she, she learned only today. She is not an anger. To adjust in a half a minute. <laughs> now, this is known as final point I can do without disturbing. For her, I say, now look here. This is the roof of the nose. Now bring the roof of the nose to the tip of the nose. What happened to the ear? Better? It's all better, but you said the action was important, not the better. The action changed the position. Is it not? Then how can you say it's better? The action is better, 
not the position better. Actually, the effect is better, Guruji. Now, now come down. One can do this way. Effect is better. Eh? Effect is very. The effect good. is better. Did I ask what is the effect? <laughs> that is mental quiet serenity. If the year is not parallel, both lobes are not parallel. That is Shirshasana, your master. That is only your physical Shirshasana. You ask me if I, asana is not physical, as you hear. How to transform the physical asana into mental, intellectual, spiritual asana? Only I can, I know it because I've done all four stages. The others have not done stages. You follow? And now try. Side, side. These people have to see the ear. Uh, <laughs> hey, take. This, oh. Hey, you do the pose. Hmm. Is that the correct blanket? No. Hmm. Now I heated, right? <laughs> For you it hurts. I created the intelligence. How absent-minded you were. The blanket was narrow. So the elbows, they tried to fit the elbow into that narrow blanket. So I had to hit her, so that she should not make that mistake again tomorrow. <laughs> you follow? I said, that is why the character, your guru has got all the three. He's a Rudra, I'm a, I was a Rudra now. Now I'm a Brahma. <laughs> because I'm helping her. <laughs> you lift it, look at the ear. As you say, the crown of the head, as you say, the crown of the toe. Similarly, the crown of the ear, this is the crown of the ear. So this is the foot, the Tarasan, if I stand, like her ear, I'm like this. <laughs> Can you see now? So bring the, so to bring the ear, I said, roof of the nose up, the ear goes back. So eyes and ears have the connection. That is how you have to learn. So if the roof of the nose is lifted, the eyes come up, pupils come up. Otherwise they see the floor. Now they cannot see the floor, the eye vision will be in the level of the eye through till the end. Not looking down, not looking up. So the measure the eye is this bro. If this is not doing Tadasana, only so much pass, your Shishasana is wrong. If you project forward slightly, you are on the front of the head. If you take this back, you are on the back of the head. It's not adjustment of the head, adjustment of the roof of the nose. Now you find the ear, still slanted, right? And lift her up. No, here, no, stand that in front. So the teacher could not understand. Now I put, I'm measuring her ear. Um, the ear, inner ear also tells me whether the lobes are parallel to each other or not. So my fingers are in the ear. Lift her up. Now, I made the inner hole parallel. The pose is correct, you can see now. Can you see? You can see now straightness. So if this is, now if you all move this forward, they go there. And if you move back, you say, I've got neck pain. So what you have to, as this is coming back, you should know how to move this forwards simultaneously. You can't bring this back and adjust the ear, then you fall. So as I'm alerting my ear adjustment, you have to tell the shoulder, be careful. I'm moving my ears, you hold the pose, don't drop. So that is the dialogue of the body. You know, you call it body language. Eh? I don't use the word body language, I use the word body wisdom. It has got its own wisdom which you have to catch. Now come there. And now try once all of you. Well, placing the head on the floor, learn to keep as far as possible ears perpendicular to the floor. You should take coffee. Half a cup. 
Don't waste time. Come on, all of you. Go to the post. Don't go by step by step. Go to the post quickly. What I've been taught, can I introduce? That's all your interest. So just now you saw Guruji. All of you, first go up. And just now you saw Guruji, correct? Roof of the nose. The roof of the nose for me. There is another way also. If you don't, the tip of the tip of the nose should run parallel to the floor. The three tips of the nose. Parallel to the floor. Those who are afraid, that means they are not firm on their shoulders. Shoulder should be an extrovert, brain should be an introvert. Whereas what you do, you make your brain an extrovert. Shoulder and introvert. I told you how to roll this skin. Play top in your arms. Play top in your legs. As you take the nose back, you have to caution the arm. I'm moving back. Don't shake me. Also keep your shoulders alert so that they don't come down when you make the adjustment and if the adjustment is correct you'll be able to see at eye level and not the floor that means your intelligence should rest on the back of the brain not on the front of the brain your arm should be forward the frontal brain work is done by the show by the deltoids and the back brain should feel that you are existing there, not on the frontal brain. And now we can all come down. Stand up and fetch.